so we'll just go on. I'm so scared. One. Did I even start it? Oh, wait, no, no. Ah, no, ah. There it is. <laughs> the Chiefs won, which I'm sure you know if you're Big watching shocker. this. What is up, sports cast? Welcome to the Sports and Stuff Show, the Kings of Comedy. I'm Carter, and I'm Adam. And let's get right into it, man. Uh, Post Super Bowl episode. What a what an eventful weekend it was. Um, it really was. Yeah, we had the Super Bowl. Uh, we <laughs> after the Super Bowl, we started watching our old clips. Yeah, it was so funny. That, uh, uh, <laughs> it was about as rough as watching the Eagles' defense. Yeah, I'll say that. Uh, yeah, we we were watching. Back to the old Zoom era where we we had like this weird stint. I don't know if the people from that time are still listening, but we had this weird stint where we were just we decided we wanted to do video and I think it was over break. So we just decided to do Zoom videos. And that was when we had Gabe as well. Yeah, <laughs> we were. It was weird because there was one episode where apparently Carter wasn't there. I was in Mexico. I didn't have Wi-Fi at my at my in my condo, and I was so confused why I even decided to do the episode at that point. Like, yeah, I don't know. It was, <laughs> and then Gabe in that intro because I let Gabe rough. do the intro was it was, it was We were joking that about that like five seconds before we rolled yeah. it, but yeah, <laughs> man, here we are. You know, episode sixty four. Yeah, we're getting up there. We yeah. we did the math. We're not gonna hit a hundred before the end of the year, but uh, we're getting to like well in the eighties. I, I think. think like eighty one. So yeah, we'll hit our Kobe episode before we take off. Although yep. I don't, I don't actually know when I'm going home for summer. So who knows? Who knows? We'll yeah. See. But yeah, updates. We are uh, in the process of updating the website. Yep. Pain. It's been it's been absolute pain because. The irritating part is, like, you make a website, and it looks really good on, like, the computer. Mm -hmm. So you're like, oh, this looks great. And then you turn on the interactive mode and make it, you're like, oh, I just want to see what it's going to look like on a phone. And then it just looks yeah. completely horrible. And then yeah. you have to remake the whole website or readjust it just to, like, compensate for how it looks on, like, or accommodate for the phone. Mm -hmm. And it's so rough. It's so horrible. I have, like, this one thing on there that I'm actually kind of proud of. Uh, it's on our website. The, it looks – the website looks really good. Yeah, like, I I think it I think it looks pretty good. What is it? But sports sports and stuff and stuff show. show. Yeah. Check it out. But I added this thing here, and we could probably just show my screen, but it's, like, it has this little icon, and mm -hmm. if you click on it, it does, like, a flood. Oh, that's fire. Yeah, so, like, it does, like, a like a melting – Yeah, Ooh. Like that. And that that took me forever to make. I st I'm not I still gotta make like a bio. It's you. You got your yeah. whole like story of sports, and and then it's just, and it's just Carter Carter's Hamilton. Empty. <laughs> it's so yeah. funny, but yeah, <laughs> that was like a while ago. So it's been like that for a yeah. long time. Yeah, I made and, one at one point, but that was a few websites ago. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but whew. oh well, you know we've come a long way, uh, and I mean the website's been through a ton. We had the we had uh it was like a black background and that was really rough. Looked I don't really even weird. Remember yeah, that. it was there was a ton of updates for it, but yep, we're now up there on the website. You know, having a having a cool website, I feel like is such a flex though. Yeah. Well now I mean now that it looks the way it does, I I kinda wanna start writing some more. But yeah, I don't, well, know, if, we I don't know if anyone really reads articles, but I'm I'm gonna do it anyway. Yeah. I mean it's kinda hard for me because I already write them yeah, for a job. Yeah, yeah. I want to do at least like one a week though for like just NFL or NBA yeah. basketball. I don't know. Yeah. Oh well. But uh, uh, I'm gonna be pumping out mock drafts. So oh, yeah. we'll we'll put those yeah, on we're, there. We're even looking at Yo, Carter's mock drafts. My prospect rankings from last year were pretty good. Okay. Yeah. Obviously I had some bad misses, but overall pretty good. You should do like a post. You you could like write like an article back. like a yeah looking yeah, back or whatever. I Be what, like what I was right and wrong about. Yeah, like kind of how Colin Cavern does it, where he's like, "We're Colin was right." Yeah, except I'm like actually right sometimes and not a stupid idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Man, shots fired. I'm sorry, I don't like him. He, he <laughs> dude, he's like my favorite. It's I so can't weird. Stand him. He's he, literally my favorite. He's just no. Man, that's no. what I. That's why I like I interpret 
how I do the show. Like, that's what I use as an inspiration. Really? Yeah. That's a shame. That and Pat McAfee. Does that make me Joy Taylor? <laughs> mm-hmm. I hope so. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, he has, yeah, he has Pat McAfee, new... I love. Their, yeah, Pat their whole better. Th- their, their show, their gambling show, their podcast. They're going so far now, like too. They're, they're incredible. They, they did broadcasting they for me. the they did broadcasting for the uh championship for uh for college. College. Yeah, they were on the field broadcasting. I love them. Yeah. McAfee's got a ton of energy and bro, n- I swear nobody does as much as he does. Like think about yeah. all the shows he does. He was on college game day. He was he does uh WWE mm-hmm. or whatever it's called now. I don't know, but yeah, Pat McAfee. It's crazy. Huge inspiration behind me doing this. So yeah. shout out to him. It'd be so cool if he ever listened to we're, us or <laughs> if we could go on his show someday. Remember That'd when be we sick. won the we won the award and we're like, we're going to McAfee level. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's the bar. They got FanDuel locked up, so DraftKings. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Come on. Mm-hmm. Anyway. But <laughs> yeah. The yeah. Uh, the other update. Uh, oh, we, we did our 10 prop bets on the show last week yep. and the final results were 7-2-1 and one in favor of me uh, well, we can run through them here yep. uh, the first one we had was coin toss which Adam won was tails it was going strong going strong. It, at that w- point. it, started, it started good for him uh, we then had which coach will we see first and we saw Sirianni first as he was crying to the national anthem yeah uh, I can't really I, I thought they were going to show like Andy Reid, because he was a better coach. See, the thing is, like, it's possible they did, but we weren't paying attention. Yeah. So, <laughs> even, I mean, it wouldn't have mattered, yeah, right, yeah. even if I would have won that one. Uh, National Anthem went under by, like, a half a second. So yeah, that was a win for me. Gatorade Color, we both took two, and it was none of them. It was purple. Yep. Which is a great choice, by the way. Purple Gatorade's good, I think. Uh, Rihanna Outfit Changes. This was a fun one because I took the no. under one and a half. We get out there. Turns out she's pregnant. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> and is like 50 feet in the sky, so she couldn't even change the outfit if, if she wanted okay. to. Okay. If I would have known she was pregnant before I made that wager, I would have not taken. I had no idea. I would have not taken over one and a half. I had no idea. It was <laughs> no so, one knew. It was so funny, though, just watching her. And every time the camera would cut away, Adam would be like, outfit change, outfit change, and come back. And, <laughs> and she's then, still wearing the red stuff. And then she'd be like, she put on a jacket at one point. I'm like, does that count? Does that <laughs> even if it did. Like it, it did, yeah. yeah. It, it was still been one, if yeah. that even counted. That was like an asterisk, too. Like oh, our next, man. our next one was Jackson Mahomes TikToks okay. made during the game. He made zero. Okay, he I'm then just made saying, a bunch after the game. Yeah, there's even the like the interview that went viral where it was like they're interviewing yeah, Patrick Mahomes and he's Jackson just in the back, and you can see Mahomes' dad in the back, like <laughs> it's just it so, so funny. funny. And I'm like, okay, if I would have gotten it, it, even at that point, because he had two post game, mm-hmm. he didn't even. It was yeah. two and a half. Yeah. So yeah, um, I wouldn't even gotten that one either. The first. Will the MVP mention teammates or fans first? I took teammates, which he did. So Man, thank you, Patrick. That was kind of a tough, tough yeah. one for me. Uh, Antonio Brown tweets. I took the over one and a half. He was silent. So, one know, of my only wins. Can't win them all. Uh, mentions of Tom Brady on the broadcast. I took the under two and a half. They didn't mention him once. Yeah. Which I can't believe. That that was crazy to me. But. I'm surprised. And then our last one was which beer commercial will be shown first, Heineken or Budweiser? Budweiser didn't even show up. So yeah. Heineken won. That was rough. So that's a seven two and one, and uh, that's a dub. I may have lost squares. Yeah, my team may have lost in the NFC Championship, but I won the sports and stuff prop bets. So. Yeah, but what really matters here? Right. Sports and stuff prop bets, and you know, then you that's know better the squares than money and, money and, and, and football. And yeah, <laughs> pride. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, so we we did squares. Uh, Carter was joining my family for our S- Super Bowl thing, and. The squares, well, it went it went off pretty rough. So, well, I had the zero zero, which typically is a good square mm-hmm. to have. So ten ten zero zero at least for the first quarter, and then uh, we'll see. I had four seven. That's and a good one, That's which which one. I thought was good, and then the Eagles scored on the first play of the second quarter, so I didn't get it. Oh yeah. So well, what happened at the end of the first quarter was they missed the extra point or missed miss the field goal that would have made yeah. me the winner, mm-hmm. and then once they didn't. My dad ended up winning at 7-0. Seven, seven, and then the seven. very... 7-7? Seven, seven. Seven? Oh, 7-7, seven, seven, yeah. yeah. And then the very first play, right after the quarter, they scored a touchdown. It was yeah. like a 40-50 yard or two. Something like that. And then, yeah, and then Carter gets screwed over by that. Yeah, so. I, I didn't win any quarters. But. Yeah, that was rough. 
you know, and, Chiefs won. Can't be too mad. Yeah. We were both rooting for the Chiefs. And then my last square, I ended up winning 40 bucks plus three scratchers. And on the scratchers, I won 50 bucks. So I can't really complain about that. Yeah, you really can't. Yeah. <laughs> but, I think it, that may be the biggest winner at that point. Definitely. But let's just go into the man. NFL here. So, yep. oh, card. Yeah. I try to pull out some. You're gonna have to spin the wheel for the uh, prop bets too. Oh, yeah, let's, let's just, just get right that now. out of the way now. Okay. <sighs> Opponent jer- opposing jersey, opposing shock tato. Ah, that one's Dang. boring. I hate this one. Yeah, I think I think we need to really up our up our punishments on here. So if you have any yeah, we might have any to. suggestions for <laughs> leaving leaving punishments up to TikTok suggestions is crazy. But I like yeah. it. Yeah, I like it. <sighs> We're gonna have to see. I hate this. This is like my worst one. I don't like this one. All right. Well, I don't. You got basketball, <laughs> so we'll just go on. I'm so scared. Do you want one, two, or three points? Uh, one. One. Did I even start it? No, wait, no, no. Ah, no, ah. There it is. <laughs> Dude, I cannot think straight when I have that potato in my hand. I'm just saying. You oh, said one okay, point. Wait. wait, what is it? One, two, or three. Basketball. Basketball. Oh yeah, one. Oh, one of these is a WNBA one. Oh, no. I'll be nice. This is basically a free point for you, but you already had to get shock tatoed. <laughs> Which player's signature move was the dream shake? Dirk Nowitzki, Hakeem Olajuwon, Manu Ginobili, or Shaquille O'Neal? Oh, my Lord. A Shaq? No. no. Hakeem. Oh. Hakeem, the dream. The dream shake. Whoops. Oh, that's, that's, Man. that's, that's, <laughs> that's rough. Whoops. I okay. got to teach you some You got basketball. football. Football? Yep. Let's go for two. Two. I'm feeling two. All right. Um. Hmm. Are you thinking more statistics based or numbers based? That sounds like the same thing. <laughs> Either way. Achieve. Okay. Achievement based or numbers based. Either way, man. Um. I'm feeling, I'm feeling all right. Okay. I'll I'll give you this one. Who held the single season record of five thousand? 476 passing yards before Peyton Manning topped it by one yard in 2013. Tom Brady, Ben Roethlisberger, Drew Brees, or Matt Stafford? Drew Brees. Yep. Yes. The other one was how how long is it in the NFL field? <laughs> I didn't realize he topped it by one yard. That's crazy. I know. Me neither. All right. So 2-0 so, start. Wow. On to the Super Bowl. And I guess NFL in general. The Chiefs won, which I'm sure you know if you're Big watching shocker. this. Uh, they won 38-35, and honestly, one of the best Super Bowls I've ever watched. It was a really it good was, one. It was great. The defenses couldn't do anything, but that was fun. The Eagles dominated time of possession by, like, over 10 minutes and scored 35 points and lost. I don't I don't think that's ever happened, and obviously I haven't fact-checked that, but I can't ever think of a time where someone dominated time of possession like that, scored 35, and lost. That's, yeah, that's wild, and that's largely due to the next point I put here, which is Andy Reid balled out. Yeah, Andy Reid is he was cooking the best coach in the NFL. He's a top five coach of all time. Uh, he's he's just the best offensive mind the game has ever seen, in my opinion. He ran the same play on back to back third and goals, he and both it. times <laughs> the guy had. 10 yards of open space. Yeah. The first time to Kadarius Tony, the second teddy. time to Sky Moore. Uh, he calls that play corn dog. Oh, corn, oh. corn dog. Man, I heard about that earlier. I'm like, man. I'm going to, okay, I'm going to risk exposing myself here, but I believe it was stack, stack formation, I want to say. And they, they put a guy in motion. And as the it was ball, more like a zig route. as the ball was snapped, he put his foot in the ground and just ran the other way. And the Eagles couldn't communicate well enough to pass off the assignment. Yeah. And honestly, even if they did, I don't think they were going to get there anyway. They had two really quick receivers running that. It was, it was just a masterful play design. And yeah. really, the the whole fourth quarter, every play call was beautiful. Couldn't but, have written a better script. Yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, the QBs both showed out. Mahomes and Hurts. We were excited to see what this quarterback battle would look like, and we weren't disappointed. Yeah. Mahomes with a sprained ankle, like dude, he could barely walk off the field. He, was like, he he looked like he was about to pass out. Yeah, he and he was, he was like screaming on the sideline. 
that didn't stop him from going 21 of 27. He ended up with 182 pass yards, three touchdowns, and ran for over 50 yards. Man. We were watching the game, and I, I, said, I said to Adam, like, every playoff win the Chiefs have, Mahomes rips off a big run. Yeah. It, just at the worst possible time. You, you finally cover everyone. You finally take away his ability to throw for one time, and he just runs for 20 yards. It always happens. Yep. But, yeah, he balled out. Uh, Hertz had 374 total yards and four total touchdowns. He really only made one mistake. Yeah. Which was the fumble, which was a big mistake. But other than that, he was excellent on the biggest stage in sports, um, in American sports, whatever. Okay. Hertz, Lamar, just saying. I mean, I got... I I still feel like there's a very very strong argument that Hurts is better than Lamar. I think that Lamar Jackson will be the better player next season, but I don't think it's fair to call Lamar better right now, just based off what we've seen. Because yeah, Lamar started the year crazy hot, but even before he got hurt, he was he kind of he took a couple steps down, and then obviously he missed like half the year. Hertz was runner up for MVP and balled out the whole play. Well, balled out in the Super Bowl. I guess you, you kind of got to give Hertz the benefit of the doubt right now. Well, it's so hard because it's like, you know, Lamar Jackson was putting up good stats, but he wasn't winning. And right. it's like, do you value, like, well, I mean, obviously winning is it all on the quarterbacks, but it's like some quarterbacks typically. Yeah. Like win, just find out ways to win more than other to quarterbacks. To be fair, though, so. I mean, if you take the quarterback off of every team in the league, the Ravens are probably one of the worst, and the Eagles are one of the best. Yeah. Or the Eagles are either first or second best. So, mm-hmm. I mean, they got the best offensive line, top two defense, great pass catchers. So, I I wish there was a simulation where we could see Lamar replacing Hurts this year and see what would happen, but there's not. So, with what we're given, I think you got to give the benefit of the doubt to Hurts. Mm-hmm. But yeah, and the Eagles, a great, excellent running team with the best O line in the league, had 45 rush yards that weren't from Jalen Hurts. 45. Gainwell, Boston Scott, and Miles Sanders completely disappeared. So, I mean, did you see bad. Boston Scott? He was looking at the. Yeah. The Super Bowl he thinks celebration. He, he thinks he's digs, bro. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Everyone was clowning yeah. on him for that. Uh, Nick Bolton balled out the linebacker out of Missouri. I liked him coming out of Missouri, but I didn't think he would be this good this mm-hmm. quickly. He returned Hertz's fumble for a touchdown, like 35 yards. He, he then, almost got another one. Yeah, he then returned a fumble for a touchdown, or it was called that way on the field, that was reversed into an incompletion. It was close. Probably the right call, though, to reverse it. Yeah. Uh, he was also just flying all over the field. He was hitting people hard. He was all over it, man. Great game from Nick Bolton. If Mahomes wasn't MVP, Nick Bolton was MVP. And it's even crazier because we've seen time and time again where some players, they kind of just have a standout game in the Super Bowl, mm-hmm. and then they proceed to have way better games. There's there's always... Every Super Bowl winner has someone step up that you don't expect. Mm-hmm. Every single year. Like Malcolm Butler for the uh, Butler. Seahawks. Mm-hmm. Malcolm Butler for the Pats, Their Malcolm Pats. Smith for the Seahawks. Yeah. Um, Derek, what was his name? Damian Williams for the Chiefs, right? Oh, yeah. Against the Niners. He scored like three times. Mm-hmm. I, did the Leonard Rams, Fournette did The Rams crazy didn't really have for the, uh Yeah, playoff Lenny. Lenny. And, and Gronk scored twice in that game. Yeah. So, yeah, there's always... That's kind of part of winning a Super Bowl. Someone needs to step up that you don't necessarily expect, and that was Nick Bolton. And actually, Juju, too. Mm-hmm. Juju's stats aren't going to shock anybody, but, but he, he, did, he made the catches when it mattered. He had, like, six first-down catches in the second half. He was he was on top of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, Kadarius Toney traded from the Giants midseason, was starting to be seen as a bust. He only had one catch, but it was for a touchdown. He also reverse field on a huge punt return that really – was a huge piece in them winning the game. Like yeah, that, that was like that changed everything. That kind of helped them because uh, I think at that point it was twenty eight twenty seven, and that kind of solidified yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. So Kadarius Tony was big, um, and then obviously we got to talk about this. There was a big holding call on the Chiefs' last offensive drive of the game. It was third, third and goal, third nine, third nine, and uh, Juju ran a little 
wheel route. It was, you like kind of cut in and out. I don't really know what the route is called. It was good, good play call. Uh, and Bradbury tugged his jersey on the way out, and then wrapped his arm as Ju- wrapped his arm around Juju's waist as Juju turned up field. Obviously, a huge call. Like it was, a, it was a huge part in them winning the game. But I, I think it was the right call. Like I, I think he held him twice. And Bradbury himself said that he held him. Yeah. I, I just don't think there's much to argue. You hate to see a penalty have that much impact, but I think that's when you got a call. Um, everyone knew it. So, And I think it was just basically the biggest argument was the timing of it and how they played the whole game, where earlier yeah. in the game they didn't call the, uh, so the that, one. So that is fair. Uh, it was the right call, but going off of what they've been calling the, rest, the rest of the, of the game, game, it was... They let some things go. Yeah. Like, do you remember the hold on Juju in the first quarter? It was that was, was rough. Worse, that was and they didn't call it. So, you know, it's it's tough. I think it was the right call. I also wanted the Chiefs to win. So well, it's also rough because I'm a little biased, but I mean, okay. So knowing how like corners' personalities are, they typically don't give out any. They don't admit to any penalties. Yeah. And we were talking about this beforehand. Where yeah. corners, they're typically always the coming from a corner who played corner. Yeah. They're the ones that always talk a ton. They don't like to admit that they suck or they made a play miss right. or anything like that. They don't really take a- accountability. So the one time that a corner does take accountability, I think that's kind of saying something to where, yeah. you know, uh, I think it was it was and, definitely a hold. And good I, for Bradbury. Like they, yeah. He took responsibility for no it. No one I mean, would have blamed him if he blamed the refs in the locker room. Yeah. Well, eh, some people would have. But, like, he... It would have been understandable, but he he owned up to it, and you know he had an excellent season. He didn't have a great yeah. game, but he had a great season. And you I know, mean, for the most down. part, it was a really good trade for the for the Eagles. Oh, or no, did they yeah. did trade for him or pick him up? I think, I think they released him and then picked him up. Actually, stupid Giants. Yeah, uh, yeah. But, Other than that, I mean, I'm trying to think of what else even happened. But I that. mean, it's kind of crazy because. You were talking about how it was probably one of the best Super Bowls you watched, mm-hmm. and I the second best that kind of came up to my mind was, or at least like a one in contention, was the Patriots Seahawks or the uh, Eagles Patriots. Which that was a great is one. The Eagles, yeah. Also, so. I, dude, the the comeback though, the twenty eight to three. Oh, that was a good one. So good, so good. Um, what I about don't know, the, pa- the Super Patriots Bowl, Rams? There's been <laughs> there's been a lot of good Super Bowls. Like I. We get a bad one every now and then, but for the most part, it's usually like the two best teams going at it. And they I didn't really like last year's. If I'm it was a honest. good game, but it wasn't really interesting, in my opinion. I don't know what it was about that one. I, it was just a weird teams, weird matchups. Like I feel like everyone kind of felt that way too. Yeah, I don't know, but it was still a good game. Um, yeah, so it's t- it's time to start having discussions about Patrick Mahomes and yeah. where he lands. So. At 27 years old, if he retired today, he would be first ballot, Yep. which I don't think has ever happened. His resume so far, he's got two rings, Super Bowl MVP in both of those. He has two regular season MVPs. He has an Offensive Player of the Year, five Pro Bowls, and somehow only two All-Pros. But he has an absurdly good touchdown-to-interception ratio. He's averaging over 300 yards a game for his career. Oh, and he's sixty four and sixteen as a starter in the regular season. Wow, yeah, and he's only he's only lost three playoff games, and two. he's been to the AFC three. Championship or higher every single season as a starter. Yeah, Patrick Mahomes, obviously Brady's the goat. Okay, we all anyone with a brain knows that Patrick Mahomes is the best player of all time, though at, le- at least the best quarterback of all time, and. In the past, there's been some Brady Rogers arguments, right? Because like Rogers is more talented, Brady's more accomplished. Yeah, Mahomes is already more talented than both, and already more, more accomplished, accomplished than Rogers. So I, Mahomes does not need seven rings to pass Brady. He just doesn't. I. Maybe, okay. Well, the hard part is maybe three or four for me is that he's only had two playoff losses at this point, and both of them have been to Brady. Yeah, or two of which, them, which is fair. Um. Over the overtime rules in one of them, it was stupid. It sucks, and, then and I think, and also the Chiefs had a game-winning interception in that game, but uh, 
D Ford was lined up offsides. Like, and I think there's nothing Mahomes can do about that. In defense of the Super Bowl, I think the refing really just discouraged the Chiefs the whole time. I don't they think had, they had horrible calls at the beginning of the game. I don't think they were that bad. Um, I mean, some were questionable, but I don't think they were winning that game regardless. The Bucks had. I mean, it's a pretty simple rule in the NFL. If you can't hit their quarterback and they are always hitting yours, you are not going to win. Yeah, that's and true. The Chiefs' offensive line was destroyed with injuries. The Bucks' D-line was incredible. Vita Vea, honestly, was probably Super Bowl MVP in my book. But, yeah, I it, it does suck that he lost the head-to-heads to Brady, but at the same time, there were other circumstances that not really Like, he did control. play bad in that game. I think he probably played a little bit better than... Like he was doing everything. He played like, as good as he could have. Yeah, yeah, and obviously he, he played great in the the one when Brady was on the Pats. I think they scored yeah. like thirty four or something like that. So yeah. as of now, I think Mahomes has to be clear cut top five all time as a quarterback, which yeah. is crazy to say this early. But I mean, I think top two at this point. I honestly, I think the only guy you can one hundred percent say is above him is Brady right now. Yeah. I agree. I mean, maybe Peyton. Just I, Pey- Peyton has all the Peyton has the stats, right? But Mahomes already matched him in rings, and he's yeah. obviously more talented. He's already more accomplished and talented than Rogers. So Rogers is he's out there. Yeah, he's already out. out. Probably the four MVPs is nice, but I would be shocked if Mahomes doesn't get that. Yeah, Drew Brees, you know, less talented. And less accomplished. Never got an M- never got an MVP. I don't even know if he got a vote. Yeah, he, he didn't even get one vote. Which is ridiculous, by the way, considering he threw for like 5,500 yards one year. But I don't know, man. Mahomes, he's the baby goat for sure. And yeah. he's well on his way to making the goat debate interesting. He's only 27. Yeah. He's got like 10 more years of this. And... Remember when he signed that contract? It was like, oh my gosh, ten years, five hundred million. That's crazy. Yeah, that's a bargain for the Chiefs right now. Mm-hmm. Like, think about it this way: no quarterback in NFL history before yesterday has won a Super Bowl taking up more than twelve and a half percent of their team's cap. Mahomes just won it yesterday, taking up eighteen percent. Wow! He took up almost a fifth of their entire cap, and they won the Super Bowl. That's how good he is. They were. Eagles were better at every other position. Doesn't matter. Yeah. They got the best coach in the league and the best most talented quarterback of all time. So And like Travis Kelsey, who's arguably their best their second best player on offense, Definitely didn't really play well. No, he, he was good. But I, mean, I, he, I guess when I say positional advantage, I, I group pass catchers together. Uh, yeah. So obviously Kelsey's better than I mean, Goddard, he, did, he I think Travis Kelsey didn't have as much of an like impact in this game. Like, I think typically from his, like, that's what he true. typically it's, does. It wasn't a it typical wasn't like, Travis Kelsey game, which yeah. is crazy to say about 80 yards on a touchdown. Yeah, for but real. That's just the expectation he put on himself. Man. So. so the Chiefs open up as narrow favorites to repeat next year. Who's second? Um, it really depends what book you look at. There's a lot of different ones. The generally accepted top five, though, is like Chiefs, Niners, Eagles, Bills, Bengals which I think is probably the right five. I think Bengals kind of lost their... I don't really see Bengals getting to one. I mean, one. They, were, they were one play away from being in the Super Bowl this year, though. Like, they're they're still a really good team. And I mean, Or no, I meant the Bills. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's more fair. Yeah. Um, I, I'm still a believer in the Bills. I'm a big Josh Allen fan, but... They they do seem to they be kind of seem like out of the the odd one out bubble. of those five yeah um, which is crazy because they seem like the clear cut favorites at the beginning of the year yeah they did they seem like even the year they need a running that, game they need a running game and they need they got all their ex- flaws exposed this season which is crazy yeah. running game and they need Josh Allen to take better care of the ball yep. which I believe that he can um, but I've, he's he's taken steps forward every year. And if that next step for him can be just cutting back on turning the ball over, they're mm-hmm. going to be stupid dangerous. But, you know, that's easier said than done. So, I mean, way too early. Who who are you looking at for the title next year? I uh, It'll be interesting. It's but kind I of think important to note, too, that the Eagles have a lot of free agents. 
Yeah. And I don't know what the future of Jason Kelsey looks like. He might retire. Hertz is going to get like 50 million a year with his new deal. The Her- yeah, I don't think they're going to look the same. I don't want to count the Eagles out because they just barely lost a Super Bowl and have a top 10 pick in their very well-run organization. But it's an uphill climb for them to get back to this, in my opinion. Uh, I think I want to see where the quarterbacks land. I feel like none of the quarterbacks' needy teams are really in the conversation, though. I think, no. Well, I think it'll be interesting to see because I think the Jets are, if they get Aaron Rodgers or they get... If they the get Jets Aaron Rodgers, Rodgers, I think that that would be very scary. I don't know if that makes. I don't know if that makes them a Super Bowl team, but I think they would cause havoc in the you playoffs. Think of how how many young guys they have though, taking a step forward. That they could be a team. That I mean, the a, Eagles, a dark like, horse. I think they're pretty yeah. young in some areas. Like, I, I mean, AJ Brown's pretty young. Jalen Hurts is pretty young. Yeah, but Hurts is about Smith. to get a bag. Yeah, that's true. Which is gonna. It's gonna hurt their gonna, ability to keep rough. keep guys around that are free agents. Like I think CJ Gardner Johnson's a free agent. I think I mean, Bradbury <sighs> Kelsey I, might retire. I think you gotta say the Chiefs again. I mean, that's fair. Yeah, uh, they have their first this year, dude. If they had another weapon, I don't. I don't really know what their free agent situation looks like. But I mean, their O line. I mean, maybe Bengals. Don't Bengals have to pay Joe? I don't think it's this year. I think it's next year. I think they have one more year. I mean, maybe Chargers, if they could get together? Maybe. They did <sighs> lose Lombardi. That could help, but they still have Staley. The char- the yeah, Chargers, but they got to kill more, though. The Chargers need speed. Yeah. They are not going to go far without speed on the outside, and a trio of Guyton, Allen, and Williams is not that at all. They don't have a single fast receiver. I wouldn't be surprised to see Keenan Allen move or even cut this year, which is yeah. crazy to say, but... Dude, Jordan Addison <sighs> to the Chargers. What? Jordan Addison on the Chargers Oof. would be nice. But Dude, I don't even know what other teams. Like, I mean, I don't see the Bengals making it. I don't see the Bills. No. Yep. No. Embrace it. With what quarterback? With what quarterback? Either one. Either one. Uh, Here's the thing. Brock Purdy's the better quarterback right now, but I'm rooting for Lance to win the battle because that means he took steps forward, and that would be dangerous for the NFL. Yeah, and then just to the Niners are going to be able to, to keep most it. of their guys around. They're going to have enough cap space. They have a bunch of draft capital, mostly in the mid rounds. But and I'm a fan, so I'm picking them, obviously. But I would say off the top of my head right now, I think Niners Chiefs. I think we see a 54 rematch. And you I just want to see that. <laughs> I really don't. I would rather see any other AFC team <laughs> than the Chiefs. I don't want to see them. Like. Yeah, especially after the, this. the Eagles. <laughs> I think if healthy, the 49ers would have beaten the Eagles. I do. But I don't think we would have beat the Chiefs after what I saw yesterday. Yeah. So, yeah, the, Chief, the Chiefs were, they weren't overall the best roster, but they were the best team in the league, if that makes sense. So, good for them, man. man I don't even, I'm still trying to think of <laughs> other teams that, like, I think could win. I don't, I mean, the Cowboys will make the playoffs, but probably not much more than that. I don't think the Rams are going to be back. I, I think the Rams are kind of done at this I point. I think the Broncos will be better this year, but not Super yeah. Bowl. The NFC is probably going to be pretty weak next year. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Um, I mean, the funny thing is, is that Aaron, Jordan Love probably could make the win the NFC. You, prob- is- <laughs> you could make the Pro Bowl, honestly, with how bad the <laughs> NFC quarterbacks are. Yeah, I, I think the majority of the favorites are AFC and then Eagles Niners. In the NFC, as of now, yeah. Obviously, there's a lot of dominoes that still need to fall. A lot of big names out there, and free a lot agents of, need to land a lot of rookies places. that'll make big impacts. But as of now, I think honestly, the four that the four that were made made the conference championships this year are probably the ones that are probably, probably the ones next that'll year. be there next year. Yeah, barring something. But I mean, drastic. also like Seahawks. No one knew that they were going to make it to the playoffs. Like. Bengals came out of nowhere the and became a. Are not winning a Super Bowl with Geno Smith. The Bengals went. Were supposed to go three and twelve, or yeah, three. Yeah, there's, there's always a team. The Bengals were the team last year. This year, Jaguars maybe. This year, Loki was the Jaguars this year. Yeah, and they could take another step forward. Um, but yeah, we'll have to see what happens. So mm-hmm. I guess we move into draft season. Yep. And the quarterback carousel, coaching carousel. Still, carousel? Is like a southern it? accent there. Carousel? Carousel? 
Is that not how you say it? Carousel. Carousel. No, carousel is like your southern. The, the quarterback carousel. No, that's not how you say it. Dude, I just belong in the south. What can I say? You got that, that you got that Kelly accent let, let now. Me, let me get a draw. <laughs> All right. Anyway, yeah, lot, lots of fun stuff still to look forward to NFL-wise, but now the actual games shift more towards basketball, hockey. Yep. Stuff like that. So, speaking of, let's talk about some college basketball a little oh, bit. Card. Right. I'm bad at that. All sports. You got football. You can. I feel like the mic is probably picking up my stomach rumbling right now. <laughs> Hopefully not. One, two, or three. Uh, I get football. Yeah, three. Just for me to lose. Okay. Which team's field goal did a fan snowball disrupt, leading to a one-point Denver win in the snowball game? <laughs> Chiefs, Niners, Chargers, Vikings. It's like a fan snowball threw a snowball. game? Yeah, they threw a snowball and messed up the field goal. I've never even heard of that. Have you heard of that? Mm-hmm. Chiefs. Uh, Chiefs, Niners, Niners, Chargers, Vikings. Vikings. I just say Chiefs. It's Chiefs. Niners. Damn. Why do you think I've heard of it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Okay. Uh, one, two, three. All, All sports. sports. All sports? Uh, give me one. One. Okay. It's going to be like curling or something. This is even sports. This one's... <laughs> okay, I'm not even doing that one. Okay. How long must an Olympic wrestler hold an opponent's shoulder blades to the mat to secure a pin in a match? One second, five seconds, three seconds, or ten? Three. One. What? Yeah, apparently. I thought it was three. Like, you know. One second? Yeah. Dude, what? you can't hold mess shoulder up at blades. all. That's crazy. I'm, maybe it's a pin. I think a pin's three, but this is like... Holding their shoulder blades down. All right. That. Wow. The other one was, what former bodybuilder was the governor of California from three to Schwarzenegger? <laughs> yeah, like, there's Give me no that way. One. <laughs> yeah, I was like, no. So still two zero. Yep. A little bit of college basketball here. Bama basketball school. Wow. <laughs> no, not actually. That's but crazy. They are number one. Purdue lost, so they have fallen to three. Houston in between them at two. UCLA and Kansas round out the top five. Um. Yeah, I mean, I mean, okay. I feel like for rankings, they're so irrelevant. They go out the window when March Madness comes. A little bit, yeah. Like, but you got. I mean, what was UNC? UNC was sixteen. Bama, Purdue, and Houston have been consistently near or at the top all year. I, I yeah, mean, it gives you a pretty good idea of. They just need one who. one upset though. Like they have though. No, but like. They just need one upset, oh, like in March and then they're gone. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, that's, that's why thing. March Madness is the best postseason in sports. Yeah, but it's just it's absolutely crazy. So you excited. cannot predict so it. Excited. Like, so excited to start yeah. filling out brackets. Yeah. Um, so I mean, inter- I didn't even know anything about basketball last year, and I got you yeah. had seen the <laughs> yeah. A uh, <laughs> little bit of interesting college basketball news: New Mexico State suspended their basketball program for the rest of the season. Which is really crazy. Um, wow. New Mexico State is obviously small school, small conference, but they've been in March Madness several times in the past few years. Um, the year, wow, the year Auburn made the Final Four, uh, New Mexico State had an open three pointer to beat them in the first round. Like they're consistently a good team, but they had some hazing incidents and a couple shootings tied to their team members. And so. The basketball team's out. So if you go to New Mexico State, I'm sorry, but that's crazy. That was you shouldn't have gone to New Mexico State because if there was nothing to do before, there's sure nothing to do now. Yep, that's absolutely crazy. I'm like, I mean, they they always talk about that where there's like hazing with like certain teams, Mm -hmm. like football teams, basketball teams, but like I don't think there's ever really been a suspension from that. Like I have I can't remember seeing one like this. Like yeah, the whole team for the rest of the year. That's crazy. But Wait, I, just for the rest of the year, at least. Yeah. Oh, uh, I thought that you meant like suspending it, like oh, the no, whole no, 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 program. No. no, that would be wild. Who knows what'll happen? But yeah, I'd have to imagine they're back next year. I well, it's you got to think this is a tough decision because their basketball team surely makes them a ton of money. It's probably the only source of income for the school. Yeah. So it's New Mexico State. Cutting what else that, are you gonna do man. They're, like they're the second. They're the little brother of New Mexico. 
And New Mexico's doing really great right now. Right. But I'm just saying, like, if you're not even the, the top school in a state like New Mexico. Yeah, that's true. Like, we're in Idaho, <laughs> but at least we're the biggest school in Idaho, right? Yeah, for real. All right. Um, trying to look at some of the upcoming big matchups in college basketball. Uh, Creighton and Providence play on Tuesday, which is pretty cool. They're both ranked. Who's out? Isn't Alabama playing? Bama playing on Tennessee? Wednesday plays Tennessee, which is yeah should be a really good game. It's in Knoxville, which I'm excited for. Um, that feels like one that could be an upset for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, other than that, I mean, not a ton of double-ranked games coming up until Saturday. Uh, Baylor-Kansas, two top-10 teams. That should be a good one. It would be awesome. We are nearing the home stretch here of the basketball regular season. Only we're, a couple more games left. We're getting close to conference tournament time, and conference tournament time is just such a lovely time of year. It's so good. Yeah, I'm I'm really excited. We'll we'll definitely talk more about college basketball as we start to watch more. But yeah, as you know, we pour most of our time into the NFL when it's NFL season because mm-hmm. that's what we want to see and that's what you want to hear. We should start doing like broadcasts of like the March Madness games or oh, like I'm reactions. So That'd so be down. so cool. You know what we should do is bring as many monitors as possible into one room and watch all the games at the same time. Yeah, and then like we can have our reactions to that. I feel I'm, like that'd be so interesting. I'm gonna request those first four days off work. Yeah. <laughs> On, honestly, man, those first four days of March Madness are as good as any days in sports. There's yeah. just constant games all day. And then there's a break it's before crazy. the Sweet 16. But mm-hmm. yeah, we'll talk about we'll talk more about that as we learn more about it. Where is the NBA? Move on to the yeah. NBA after we do another card. Oh, you got football again. Ooh. All right. One, two, or three. Uh three. I ain't going no for for no tight. Okay. I just got three logos and mascot cards. How many rushing yards did your favorite player player? How many rushing yards did your favorite player Lamar Jackson amass in 2019, setting the record for an NFL quarterback? 906, 1006, 1106, 1206. 1,106? 1,200. Are you kidding me? Oh, well, I knew it was 1,000. I'm like, how am I going to remember, Let's like, go. the... Let's that's stupid. Go. Well, I've already lost, but... Uh, victory lap here. <laughs> Basketball. Five, three. Three. Five. Okay. What Lakers center did uh, Willis Reed defend while injured to lead the Knicks to a victory in the 1970 NBA Finals? Uh, Kareem Abdul Abdul Jabbar, Walt Chamberlain, Bill Walton, or Moses Malone. Okay, it's not Walton or Malone. I know that, and that feels too early for Kareem. So I'm gonna say Wilt. Yep. <sighs> Look at that. Five to zip. Let's go, man. Speaking of the NBA, what, what, a, the Aaron what a Rogers beautiful, treatment. beautiful segue. Wow. Kevin Durant got traded. <laughs> Hours before our show, too, or yeah, after, like right, like a few hours after we stopped recording, and we I, thought the 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 Kyrie trade was crazy. Right. Yeah, so I love the Nets. Every few years, the Nets decide the league isn't fun enough, and they just blow up the entire organization. They did it in the huge trades with the Celtics back in like I want to say that was 2013, 2014, when they brought in Garnett and Paul Pierce, and those huge trades. That didn't work, so they sold everything. And then a couple of years ago, they trade for, or they sign KD and Kyrie and trade for Harden. That didn't end up working out, so they traded Harden last year, and then this year, within two days, trade Kyrie and KD. Man, so imagine when they were like, remember when they were the favorites to win it all? Yeah. And then they were they, had, they weren't even playing bad this year is the thing. They were a good team. Yeah. They they were probably going to go far, but Kyrie was unhappy and seems like KD wasn't super happy either. They had really one great <laughs> playoff series. You just have and they to lost wonder, to Giannis. You just have to wonder if KD's foot was an inch shorter what the league would look like cuz yeah. He hit that crazy turnaround that was a long two cuz his foot was like that much on the line. Would have been a game winner and sent them on if uh, if it was a three, but they ended up losing in overtime. And the Bucks won the championship that year, and the Nets are now blowing it up. So it's it's just crazy to think about 
the tiniest differences make such a huge impact. But the final trade package, Kevin Durant and TJ Warren to the Suns. TJ Warren's an underlooked part of this. He's he's a good player, and they need depth after this. So uh, the Nets get Michael Bridges. Michael, it's Mc, Mikhail. Mikhail. Or Michael. <laughs> I heard low-key, don't know. I've heard both. Uh, Cam Johnson. Carousel. <laughs> Four first round picks, two first round pick swaps, and two second round pick swaps, which is a lot of draft capital. I feel like it's so crazy when the NBA they trade like a tw- like twenty twenty seven first rounder. Picks means so much less in the NBA. It's so it's crazy. crazy. Yeah, uh, they they were trading like twenty twenty nine first round picks at this deadline, but so the Suns now instantly have one of the best duos in the league, arguably the best with KD and Booker. They still have CP3. They managed to hold on to Aiton. Uh, they're a very, very good team, and they're dangerous. It'll be interesting to see. The Nets, without Katie and Kyrie, their starting lineup is unbelievable at defense, but horrible on offense, like just really bad. Uh, Bridges is a really good defender, one of the best defenders in the league. He's a young talent. He's a great piece for Brooklyn. If they can use these first wisely and get like one or two guys with some offensive firepower, they could be a team to look out for in, you know, a couple years. But the Suns are a team to look out for right now. KD is going to sit out through the All-Star game again. He never plays in the All-Star game. And uh, he'll make his debut shortly after, we assume. And now the Kyrie trade, which we, we touched on before, but it's, crazy to look yeah. back at it now that they blew it up again the Mavs got Kyrie and Markeith Morris in exchange for Dinwiddie Dorian Finney-Smith a 29 first and two seconds uh, Kyrie has already made his debut for the Mavs they won his debut against the Clippers without Luka crazy game and Kyrie balled out he looks really good uh, their first game together they lost to the Kings but the Kings are a good team this year Kings are the three seed in the West I don't know how yeah. but Yeah, the Mavs look like they're going to be really fun. I'm still interested to see how they stop anybody in the backcourt, but they're going to be fun to watch for sure. It's kind of interesting because I thought that the I thought the Mavericks were going to shoot up a little bit more after the Kyrie trade in like odds to win the finals, and they're still sitting. They're still sitting at what is that seven? They just they don't really have depth. Like they they need depth. They're eighth. Yeah. Uh, I think that's fair. It was seventeen. Luca's a great playoff performer. Kyrie's performed well in the playoffs most of the time. I would say. Again, I just don't know if they can stop anybody. Like mm-hmm. they, if they go against, for example, the Suns, who's gonna check Booker? Yeah, none of them. Uh, I don't know. It, it it'll it'll be it'll be fun and interesting to see. Uh, there was a ton of trades at this deadline. Honestly, the NBA trade deadline is incredible, way better than any other trade deadline. Uh, some other notable trades, the Lakers loaded up. They sent away guys like Westbrook and Pat Bev and Thomas Bryant. <laughs> Pat Bev, uh, he ended up <laughs> making a bad. post with... Uh, <laughs> yeah, because they Pat Bev was teammates with D'Lo in Minnesota, D'Angelo Russell, and the Lakers traded for Russell and then... Pat Bev posts about it like, oh, gang's back together. Then they traded Pat Bev. They traded him a little bit afterwards. But, yeah. Lakers added D'Angelo Russell, Rui Hachimura, Mo Bamba, Malik Beasley, and Jared Vanderbilt. None of those guys are stars, but they, all of them are good role players. And I think these were good moves by the Lakers. Josh Hart got sent to the Knicks to reunite with Jalen Brunson, which is pretty cool. Uh, Pirtle back to the Raptors, Josh Richardson to the Pels, which I think is an underlooked move. I, I think the Pels are going to make some noise. Gary Payton, the second to the Warriors, kind of. Uh, it sent him to the Warriors, Wiseman to the Pistons, uh, Sadiq Bay to the Hawks, and five seconds to the Blazers. But uh, Gary Payton failed his physical. Mm. He, he sat out the first 35 games of this year. Uh, whined a bunch about the Blazers organization and was proved to be lying because he's awful and stupid and I want him out. But yeah, the Warriors need to decide if they're going to accept the trade. I think today is the deadline for them to accept it. And uh, that might all fall through, which would be interesting. Gary Payton would then definitely be shut down for the rest of the year in Portland because he burned every bridge on the way out, which is funny. 
Uh, yeah, Westbrook and Pat Bev are gone, like we said. Westbrook to the Jazz, Pat Bev to the Magic. Both got bought out. Uh, Bones Highland to the Clippers is interesting. I think that he's going to have a chance to flourish there. And then the funniest one, John Wall got traded back to the Rockets after oh, going man. on a podcast and just bashing their entire organization. He got traded back to them. Uh, he got bought out, obviously, but it's still funny. And then Kennard to the Grizzlies, which is big. A lot of huge, huge moves right now. Um, the NBA is really entertaining this year. They've had a lot of good games. A lot of teams that maybe weren't going to be great are great, like the Kings. It's I'm I'm actually really excited to see how this season shakes out. So, if you if we're thinking forward, who's who's your pick right now? Who's your who's your title pick? Uh. Because I don't know I, mine. I really I think, don't. I think Suns. I kind of see a, a scenario where, and I think this is a classic move for KD, where, you know, you got Chris Paul, you got Devin Booker, and, I mean, they're nowhere near as great as Clay and Steph. Oh, not even But then close. they were, you know, they were doing great, and all of a sudden he joins on, and he's like, oh, okay, I just want to bandwagon. a little different, though, because he got traded. Yeah, but I think so I, I think he I had some say in that. I wouldn't call this a super team. I would call the Warriors a super team, obviously. Yeah. Before, but I don't know. I'm a big KD fan, so I'm gonna I'm gonna defend him more than most will. But the Suns is a good pick. I mean, they. I have, think Suns are Bucks. They have two superstars. KD is probably still top three in the world, easily top five, and he's a great playoff performer. So it's gonna be interesting to see. They're gonna be hard to beat for sure. Other than that, I mean, Bucks are going to be in there for sure. Celtics are not really being talked about anymore. They're actually the number, like, but they're, they're favored a great, to win. They're a great team. I, I think they need to be talked about more. And obviously, they get respect at the sports books. But, yeah, yeah, they, they almost did it Tatum. last year. They almost did it last year. They, they yep. could bounce back and do it this year. But, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm excited, man. I, I'm getting back into basketball more than ever, and... You know, who knows? Maybe we'll even start talking about hockey. Oh, man. Yeah. You got to learn basketball first before we start talking about hockey. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I, you know, hockey, It. I'm too far gone with hockey. Hockey's yeah, bad. Just giving it up. I've been exposed so much with, like, my hockey knowledge over the, the time of the show. and it's, it's tough to get into a sport this late. Yeah. Because, like, I, I mean, I grew up watching basketball and football, so I— I live and I mean, breathe those I, things. I grew up watching baseball and football, and, like, those right. were my two. Yeah. And, it, like, I always grew up never really enjoying basketball, and I still, if I'm going to be honest, don't really enjoy basketball for the most part. I don't really see, like, some of the appeal with it. I don't know why. I love it. Like, love it. and that's, like, the same thing where it's, like, you know, people who grew up watching soccer, like, they absolutely love soccer. But, yeah. like, for me. So boring. No, like, yeah. So I, boring. I really can't really... Like I, I like playing Cup, it. The World Cup is entertaining, but that's honestly mostly just because of how passionate the fans are. Yeah, soccer like, fans are great. And I, I mean, I liked playing soccer. I just didn't like watching it. That was like the the thing. Yeah, I mean, it was it was probably my least favorite sport to play too. <laughs> how many sports did you play? I played a lot, man. I mean, if we're just thinking sports, I played for like three years or longer. I I played basketball my whole life, baseball. Soccer, um, football. That might be it. I did wrestling for two years. Really? Yeah, just to stay in shape for basketball in the off season. Uh, I think that's it. I never did like swimming or tennis or anything. Mm. I well, hey, I, I swimming tennis. I did marching band. Woo! <laughs> I was a band nerd in middle school. I was. I was Man. nice at the trumpet though. <laughs> I'm not I am not kidding. I was nice at the trumpet. <laughs> wow. Dude. Yeah, fun so, facts. I was put so that in your, your bio. <laughs> <laughs> Former excellent amateur trumpet player. <laughs> Man. Uh for me, I only actually played I only played soccer and football. Really? Yeah. You never even tried basketball? I never tried basketball. Or baseball? I, yeah, I could I could hardly even dribble up. You never played ball. baseball? I never did. My brother Not played even, T-ball. Like, T-ball. My brother played T-ball. T-ball's sick. And I just never they kind of chose for me to play soccer because my brother did. And I don't understand why I never played T-ball. 
Yeah. Because my my cousin did, I did, or my brother did. But then for me, I guess my brother just didn't like it. And I think when he transitioned from T-ball to soccer because they wanted to find him a sport, I kind of just picked up on it too. Yeah. And then once he stopped playing soccer, he was done. And I, once he stopped playing soccer, I started playing football. Yeah. And I just ended up enjoying football, so I just never did it. I did I did track an off-season of track. Oh, I did, I did track too. And Two years. I, was, I mean, I was really fast, but, like, I never actually competed. I was just the off-season. Dude, the weird thing for me was I'm not really a fast person, but I was pretty good at track. I it's was more like I was good at the two hundred. It's more, yeah. I, I, had I was a, more of a, had a good a, get off, a quick. That's the thing. It's more of with technique like, and form. Yeah. It's not really speed. It's more technique, form, and if you are fast, it's kind of like at that point, yeah. But I started off with like eight events, and then I narrowed it down. I ended up only doing high jump, which I was terrible at, and then two hundred and four by two. Our four by two. What they did was they took the eight fastest runners in, at the school or that were on the track team. And they put the four fastest on four by one and the next four fastest on four by two. And our four by two team like went, almost went to state. Like we won, we won well, region, we won districts and got like third at regionals. That's the thing with like, uh, Fly flex. that's the thing about track with like the relays <laughs> is you could have the fastest people, but it's Dude, also we nailed the handoffs. Yeah. Oh, we you got to nail those. the handoffs and you have to have them at the right times. Mm -hmm. Cause like you could have the, <laughs> the fastest people, but like, if those one of those things goes wrong, then you're done. Yeah. First meet of the year, we were on a dirt track, and someone like broke their spike as they were about to hand oh. it off, and he like fell and like tried to toss it, and it rolled away, and we got disqualified. And we're That's like, oh. tragic. And then we and then we just tightened it up, you know. So, yeah. Clutched. Yeah. But I guess that's all the time we have. That was the fastest hour of my entire life. Yep. But I, you know, I like it that way. I wish yeah. we had the Super Bowl every week. Yeah, yeah, for real. So on behalf of Adam and I, we want to thank you for listening to Sports and Stuff today. Make sure to follow us on our socials at Sports and Stuff Show, except Twitter at SNS underscore show. Make sure you tune in to our episodes Wednesdays and Fridays, 3 to 4 p.m. And on all platforms after that and check out our clips. Yep. Uh, thank you again. We will see you in the next one. Peace. Peace.